Russian army has record desertions. Since beginning of war, UK intelligence, desertion among conscripts in the Russian army has reached a record high with the highest number reported in the Moscow region, according to the Ministry of Defense of Great Britain. As reported in the summary, according to the independent Russian media group Media Zana, in March 2024, Russian military courts convicted a record number of 684 RF servicemen for desertion. The total number of cases since the partial mobilization in September 2022 is 7,400 with the highest number of cases registered in the Moscow region, 496. According to British intelligence, many soldiers who were tracked down and handed over to military courts were sentenced to suspended terms and returned to their units and the front lines. At the same time, the number of requests for asylum in Western countries from Russian citizens evading military service has reached a record level. Russian soldiers, including those forcibly recruited during the September 2022 partial mobilization, are required to remain in military service indefinitely with little prospect of release, the British Ministry of Defense said. According to Bloomberg, the Kremlin is preparing to recruit more contract soldiers. The authorities seek to avoid, at least for now, another mass mobilization that could undermine public support for the war in Ukraine. By recruiting up to 30,000 new recruits per month, Russia could replenish its army ranks by 300,000 this year. At the same time, Bloomberg sources familiar with the matter in the US and Europe reported that concerns are growing that Russia could achieve significant gains in the coming weeks. Russian troops are on the outskirts of their next key target in the eastern part of the Donetsk region, Chasiv Yar, the height of which is critical for Ukraine's defense in this area. The Levada Center reports say that the majority of Russians support the war against Ukraine. In March 2024, only 16% of respondents were against it. Over the past year, the proportion of those expecting a second wave of mobilization has decreased to 48%. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un supervised salvo launches of the country's super-large multiple rocket launchers that simulated a nuclear counterattack against enemy targets. The report by North Korea's official Korean Central News Agency came a day after the South Korean and Japanese militaries detected the North firing what they suspected were multiple short-range ballistic missiles from a region near its capital, Pyongyang. Toward its eastern seas, state media photos showed at least four rockets being fired from launch vehicles as Kim watched from an observation post. It said the rockets flew 352 kilometers before accurately hitting an island target and that the drill verified the reliability of the system of command, management, control and operation of the whole nuclear force. Kim said the exercise helped prepare North Korea's nuclear forces for their important mission of deterring a war and taking the initiative in a war. The Kim regime has tested a series of weapons in recent months, including long-range artillery that has the South Korean capital of Seoul within its range, a hypersonic glide vehicle, which in theory could carry a warhead past South Korean and U.S. air defenses, and an intercontinental ballistic missile that could reach the U.S. mainland. Since conducting its first nuclear test more than a decade ago, North Korea has advanced its weapons capabilities, with the ambition of miniaturizing a warhead so that it can fit on a long-range missile. Thank you.